Let's talk about the Community Day weekend. Before we even start the video, this is going to be a different type of video. It's still, it's a look back at the weekend, the Saturday. I say on Sunday, but it's really not going to be on Sunday. It's more Saturday, which I did film a video. Um, I actually filmed a video and took took me, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half to, um, to go ahead and edit it. And right toward the end of editing, my software froze. And for some reason, it had not been auto-saving. I don't know why. It always auto-saves. So I actually lost all my editing. And at that time, it was kind of late at night on Saturday going into Sunday. And I was like, I can't sit through and edit this whole thing again. So I just put it on the back shelf. Um, I've since edited it just as I've been doing other stuff. I've been trying to continue to work on that. So I did finish that edit and um, did finish that community day. So what you're about to see is that video. But the Sunday community day went a little bit differently and um, it really didn't go at all. So I want to talk about that at the end. But the first thing we're going to see is how my community Community Day on Saturday went, the Ministry of Magic Community Day. So without further ado, here we go. I've got my coffee and I'm ready to head into the Ministry of Magic for Community Day. I'm Professor Vokas and this is Harry Potter Wizards Unite. Hello, Professor. I didn't see you there. I'm back up at Coca Booth Amphitheater, which is the um, same place that I actually made the guide for this community day. I thought it was a fitting place to go to actually do the community day. Um, let's go over to the special assignments. I've already done a little bit while I was while I was waiting in line for that coffee. I got one of the prophecy records and a daily prophet stand. I also saw a ton of the ministry official, but you don't need him. But um, I've picked up some port keys. Let's go look at my port keys. I think I picked up three. Yep. Three event ones, but I still need to walk this one, but I will start to walk them as I go around this lake. Over in the registry, though, let's go to Ministry of Magic. I do have some images I can actually place, um, and I'm not. I'm only gonna place the ones that I'm about, I know we're gonna see increased spawns of. I am currently two out of five on Trace Charm, so I have space for three, so I can place some images. If I happen to get that many, that'll be fantastic, but I probably won't, but at least I'll have the space just in case. So let's place the Daily Prophet stand, which green stars it on this gold page, but it will get me 100, um, Nice, some wizarding experience. But it gives me 100, so it does give me the rank up. And I get some experience there. By the way, I'm not on a Brufios yet, but Brufios would not double that 1100 I get for these trunks. That is one thing Brufios does not double. Well, one of the many things. Um, let's see. Yeah, you know, I've been seeing the ministry official, so I'm going to go ahead and place him as well. I'm probably going to place her as well, too. All right, place both of them, no trace charm recharges. So on this page, um, I've got space now. The interdepartmental memos, the um, newsstand, and then the prophecy record have space for all that, and that's, that's gonna be increased. Let's go ahead and place the veil in the back there. That is also gonna be an increased spawn. No trace charm recharge from that. I also have Bogrod on this page, but he's already green starred. And it's all I need now is the Fountain of Magical Brethren, which I plan on getting. So I'd rather carry those fragments forward because I know it's, you know, we're imminently going to do that. All right. I think that's, yeah, that's all the images on the ministry pages. So we can back out. You can kind of see where I'm sitting. So in the area I'm in now, there's a decent number of inns. When you go to actually walk around, you can see there's a couple of fortresses. There's an inn. There's a greenhouse on the other side. But then it kind of, it gets barren for um, this kind of thing. And the spawns are a little more sparse. But at that point, I'll probably focus more on just walking out those port keys. But there are still spawns. Don't get me wrong. And there's some spawns right here right now. Obviously, Ministry of Magic. But I, all right, new stand. So... We're gonna go ahead and start uh, grinding away on these foundables. We'll probably do the fortresses, the foes and fortresses after I'm done with most of this, at least back to the start point here. So let's get walking. See where I am. I've definitely got the 15,000 wizarding experience. I popped a Barufios and I put a tonic on. We needed to use a tonic for this. I, I forgot that that was about to happen. But anyway, of course, I popped a tonic and a Barufios. Got the 10,000. Let's get that silver key. 
And then Tonic for Trace Detection is going to get me five level two Ministry of Magic runestones, which I'll end up using later, I am sure. And then you can see 13 Daily Prophet stands, um, five Daily Prophecy records, and then one interdepartmental memos, which that's the one I said I don't see a lot of, and I'm still not seeing a lot of them. So I actually saw two, but one of them departed after the very first cast. Um, the veil. I threw a trace charm on the veil that you saw and then got that second veil. Since then, I've seen three more veils. So I've seen five, five veils. One, two, three. Well, I've seen four because I trace charmed one. But I've seen four veils and I've seen one flock of interdepartmental memos. So twice as many of those. I really need to see the interdepartmental memos. That's for sure. And I don't want to... I don't want to have to say that anymore. Too many syllables. Over my port keys, I did finish that first port key. That was just a 2.5. It wasn't an event one. And then you can see I've picked up almost a full complement of them. Good thing is when this event finishes, I don't actually have to be gold on that page. Um, it's probably going to be the Fountain of Magical Brethren that's holding me back, I'm hoping. And as long as I have the port keys, that's going to get me the fragments. I can always just finish and then open those port keys later. Although with Community Day tomorrow and wanting to get those port keys, I'll probably need to go ahead and walk them pretty quickly. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back to catching more of these. <music> I've just reached the point where I definitely need to do some fortresses because right now you can see on Ministry Atrium 2, um, I'm 10 out of 10 on the veil again and I even saw another veil. So I want to start gathering those on the silver page. So Fountain of Magical Brethren, I only need five fragments. The port keys, it'll take me too long to walk those compared to running fortresses. So I'm about to run a bunch of fortresses, get those five fragments, place that image, prestige this page, so then we can start actually gathering both Newt, Newt, just in case I get more of him. Um, I have a couple slots for him on this page, but I'd rather just open it up. But the veil especially, I would definitely like to start working on the silver page veil fragments. So let's go, I'm gonna hit a bunch of fortresses and I'll see you on the other side. I got the fragments I needed and it only, well, it actually took me more than I thought. It actually took me nine fortresses. So nine fortresses for five fragments. It was, it was literally, I got a fragment, I did I got one, I didn't, I got one, I didn't, I got one, I didn't, until so I got up to nine. But ruin, oh, sorry, and this was in Tower Chamber 1. There's supposed to be an increased rate, and Ruins 1 is 50% by itself. So now I'm up at Tower 1, and that's it. It is RNG, of course, but I really was hoping for a little better. But it doesn't really matter. I get to place that image, which there is actually a veil in the map around me right now, I'm hoping it's still there after I place this image because I had to turn the camera on. By the way, I'm back in my car briefly because I needed to hook up my uh, charger. My phone was at about 20%, so I just wanted to make sure I didn't die. So anyway, let's go ahead and get through these rank ups and prestige this page and get back out and see if we can get that veil. Would you like to prestige this page? Yes, that is... That is my goal for today, completely. Ooh, 21 fragments I need now. 21 to make it to gold. And, oh, only three veils is all I need. And I've been seeing a bunch. So let's get out. Boom, it's still there. Oh, you know what? I have one trace charm left. I'm throwing it on there. It isn't the veil. It's Newt. But that's fine. We need Newt anyway. So it, it still works out pretty well. It still works out. I'm going to use a potion for this. Even though I'm going to need extimulo potions for other things tomorrow, I've got enough. It's okay. So Nude, I was three out of five. I didn't even see what he goes up to. It's probably seven or something. Ugh, I lost him. That stinks. One cast, Extimulo. It was a good cast too. All right, let's see. Maybe this is a veil over here or another Newt. Because I saw the clone underneath me, which I assume is a Newt. So I might still end up with two Newts out of this if, if they don't depart on me. Oh my gosh. So you can see sometimes it just feels like the game's against you. It is another Newt. I have one more shot at this, and I'm still on an Extimulo. Nice, got that one. Oh my gosh, so two out of three. You saw, they were good casts. I used a potion. Just bad luck sometimes. It is seven. Oh, it says six out of seven. It's really five out of seven, you'll see. And another Dark Detector. Have built up a lot of those for future use. What is this? Probably a Mad-Eye Moody. I'm actually at max fragments on him. I see him pretty often, surprisingly, um, more than the other stuff on that page even. Yeah, it's going to want me to place the image. But this page, um, even more than Arthur Weasley, ooh, nice rank up, um, and Tonks. But I'm Green Star, so I'm just going to hold on to those 15 fragments. I'll eventually carry them over. Let's back out. 
There we go. All right, there's a bunch of stuff around me which I'm definitely gonna work on, but let's go to special assignments. Defeat 10 foes. I had to run to get those fragments anyway for the uh, Fountain of Magical Brethren, so I defeated 10 foes during that, two healing potions. And then um, if we go down here, I'm 20 out of 30 on the Daily Prophet stand, eight out of 30 on the Prophecy Record, and still only four interdepartmental memos. That's been rough. Every time I click on one of these, I'm hoping it's interdepartmental memos. And then it's something like this guy. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so I'm going to keep grinding away on this. Now that I've got my charger, I'm actually going back out by the lake and I'm going to walk around and stuff. We, I may hand out, head over to Waverly Place where you see me play a lot. Waverly Place is actually right down the road from here. And I find it a better place when, especially if I'm, look, like I'm looking for spawns, I can just hang out in that area and just do minimal, I guess, minimal walking. Not that I don't mind walking, but just I don't have to move that much to get a lot more spawns and they replenish a little bit faster. I think there's just more cell acti activity gathered in one location. Hey, interdepartmental memos. So, because really, once I finish these, that's not the end of things. I'm, I'm trying to get enough to go through to the next page, too. Look at that. It departed on me. One cast. I didn't use a potion, but, I mean, it's a pretty easy one to get, usually. <laughs> so, yeah, I've seen a lot of her, too. All right, let's just get rid of her. So let's actually go. I'm going to go into the registry. Oh, let me get this energy, actually. <laughs> let me um, go to the registry. Now let's go to Ministry of Magic. So it's this page here. I'm on gold, 19 out of 45. Even when I finish the interdepartmental memos, I really would like to get it up to 45. And then the, the um, prophecy record, I would like to get that up to 55. I was hoping to finish both of those and green star this page. It is at gold, though, which really is my main thing. So this is really the page I'm working on. I need two more Newt Fragments to make it to gold. I need three more Veil Fragments. And then the Fountain of Magical Brethren, I'd like to get as far along as I can. Port Keys, I'm currently filled up, and I'm already working on my next Port Key. So you can see, one of those is already one unlocked, one of those is not. What I mean when I say that is one of those is an event port key and the other one's just a two and a half kilometer port key. And then I'm filled up on those port keys and I really do need to get rid of them so that I can get them tomorrow. Although I feel like tomorrow's port keys I'm not as worried about. I think it's only today's. It was that Fountain of Magical Brethren that was really I wanted the key in on. So no worries there if I don't get that. By the way, I also collected my, oh, let's go to potions. I'll just show you. I went to get my complimentary gift I went ahead and got the Tonic for Trace Detection ingredients, and then I was able to brew three of them, or at least start three of them. So actually, you can see this one's 11 minutes, but I haven't even entered the master notes yet. So once I put these master notes in, it's going to finish. There we go. And you can see, so it'll be good. You can see my next one. So it's one hour minus the SOS tree boost you get. So mine's 48 minutes. So then I can enter the master notes and it's gonna go down to 24 minutes, which is how long it's been taking me to brew them, which is really fast. I just don't have all the ingredients. Yep, down to 23 minutes. I still need, I need Baneberry and Angel's Trumpet. Those are the two things that I ran out of. So I've been looking for it. If I see it, I'll generally pick it up. Um, but right now I don't see any. Oh, and here she is again. So anyway, Finish her up, but I need to move. I don't see any more Ministry of Magic foundables, so we're going to go back out, probably do a lap around. I'm probably not even going to bring the camera with me this time so I can move quicker with my charger and put some distance on those port keys because I need 21 fragments of the fountain. And then also um, just probably not even go after the... Ooh, look at all this stuff appearing for me. Nice. I'll take another newsstand for sure. But anyway, I'm probably going to avoid anything except for the things I need and then like veils and newts, of course. But the, the three things I really need, which is this, the prophecy orb and the interdepartmental memos. So let's get back out there. Back home, as you can see, and it took me a, definitely a bit longer than I thought to just finish up the last little bit because I finally I kind of made my way around the lake, got back to my car, and thought I'd be done by that point. But I still needed two more interdepartmental memos, and I still needed three more um, prophecy records. So I kind of was right there in the parking lot thinking, you know, I'd see the spawns, nothing. So I actually started heading home, went to the grocery store, figuring the parking lot usually has a lot of spawns because lots of cell activity in parking lots um, there. 
ended up getting, I think, one prophecy record, or it might have been an interdepartmental memo. It was one of the two, and then nothing else. Not that I wasn't seeing other Ministry of Magic Foundables, it just wasn't that. So then left the supermarket, ended up on the way home, going by a park that's right on the way that I've been to a couple times, and went to that park and decided I was just gonna walk. Actually, in the parking lot, got like three of the things I needed, two in one, and then got out and started to walk down some trails, and then finally got the last prophecy record I needed. So, whew, anyway, did finish up, here we are. 30 Daily Prophet Stamp Foundables. Definitely saw a bunch of those. So three um, Powder Dragon Claw. And then return 30 Prophecy Record Foundables. Six Leaping Toadstool. Yes, Toadstool. Love it. And 20 Flock of Interdepartmental Memos Foundables. And that's going to get you a strong Extimulo Potion. Nice. So I get to finish up September Community Day. Um, what's that? Three Defense Against Dark Arts books, the three spell books, some money, some experience, and some energy. Congratulations, you have completed this event. Thank you for combating the calamity. Da 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 da. So let me back out. Over here at the registry, Ministry Atrium 2, you can see um, Newt, 7 out of 7, ready to place that image, but I'm saving those fragments. I'm going to carry them over. I actually got a couple Newts beyond that even. The Veil, uh, 6 out of 13, green starred. So um, started the day by placing the image and then obviously got some more fragments there. Actually got enough fragments to place the image on this page and then go six beyond that. So nice. Trace charm was used, used, but I definitely saw a bunch of them. So I still need the Fountain of Magical Brethren, 21 fragments, and then um, Bogrod, 10 more of those. I see him all the, I say all the time, I see him enough, I'm not worried about those 10. It's that tank of brains, that's going to be probably the last thing. So the Fountain of Magical Brethren, not in too much of a rush. I have nine port keys ready to open, actually. I ended up walking a bunch. So I have nine port keys, so that'll be nine fragments, and then I can run fortresses and get these other two fortress foundables I need anyway, the visitor's entrance and the uh, accusation chair. I need them anyway. You saw, I got the Arthur Weasley and then it departed on me. That was the only one I saw the whole day. I cast departure. I was like, yeah, that's that about sums that up. So anyway, um, last thing on Ministry Atrium page, um, 35 out of 45 on interdepartmental memos. I just, I wasn't seeing a lot of them. Not only that, I had five, or six, I think it was just five. Five departed on me after one cast. And I understand they're a high threat foundable, so maybe they should be a little rarer and they should depart a little quicker, but not on a community day when you're expected to return them. They should, I, I feel like they should adjust that. Uh, Pokemon does that on community days for certain Pokemon. They'll uh, go ahead and turn down the departure rate just because they know people need to get them. They're gonna be required to get them, therefore they try to make it um, a little more tenable for, for everybody for that one day. And then the rest of the year, it can be its normal thing, but for the day. Um, and then the prophecy record, uh, 40 out of 55. Again, that was the last thing I needed. I even got the interdepartmental memos done first and still needed two more of the prophecy record, I think it was. And it just took me, it took me two parking lots to get it essentially and a little bit of a trail. A bit of closing thoughts on this community day. Um, one thing I would like to see Port Key do, Port Key Games, and we always say Niantic. Um, Port Key Games, I believe, makes more decisions about the types of things like what are the tasks going to be for community day. Niantic is more the back end and the skeleton of the game, the overworld map and what is possible. But the decision making, I believe, is Warner Brothers games section, port key games that makes this. So I'll, I'll address to this to port key games is that if you're going to have a community day and you're going to have increased foundable spawns. So Ministry of Magic, we had the um, increased spawns was supposed to be the Prophecy Record, the Newsstand, um, Newt, the Veil. I believe those, was that it or was there a fifth one? Oh, and then uh, Mad-Eye Moody. So I did see a bunch of those. They were increased spawns. But when I finish a community day where there's required requirements, I had to get the Prophecy Record interdepartmental and the um, newsstand, and there's increased spawns, and you've told me what those increased spawns were, at the end of the day, I should say, oh, I saw the, the thing I saw the most was one of those things either that was required or was an increased spawn, which kind of go hand in hand. In this case, if I said anything, it would be daily profit stands. The daily profit stand is the medium threat. If I saw more of those today 
then that would be fine. Even when I'm looking for that prophecy record, and the prophecy record is also a medium foundable, but if I saw more of the other one, I'd say, okay, well, they're both mediums, I saw more of that. But the things that I saw the most of are the ministry administrator and the ministry of official, which he's ready to place the image. I'm not gonna place it right now. Those two, and, and I don't even mean by a little bit, like I just kind of a confirmation bias, I was seeing it more, but easily I saw way more of those. I mean, way more than of the newsstand, than of the prophecy record, interpartmental, especially of the other stuff, of course. And again, not complaining that I'm seeing more of a lower level threat foundable than a higher. They're not even part of this community day. They're not required in the tasks and they weren't supposed to be increased spawns. But I saw more of those two than anything else. And I believe if you're having a community day and it's gonna revolve around some specific foundables, one of those foundables should be the thing you see the most. I would say either the prophecy record or the newsstand because they're both medium level foundables. And then the, the interdepartmental are a little higher and obviously the veil and newt are even higher. I saw a bunch of those, no doubt. But those two, I saw more of that. And really that shouldn't be the case for today. If that's gonna be how the community day is set up and that's how the um, tasks are presented to us and the increased spawns are presented, is that I shouldn't see those two more than anything else. But again, first world problems, but it's more just running an even cleaner, just the little things to make that event just that much better. Because again, not to compare it to Pokemon Go, but this game is so based on that, and Pokemon Go has a good thing going where they have a lot of users and that type of thing, and they get their complaints, don't get me wrong. But on their community day, if it was a Pikachu community day, because if you don't know Pokemon, a lot of you know Pikachu, that's an electric type Pokemon. When I finish that day, I should say, okay, I saw more Pikachu than anything else today, because this is the day. Any other day of the year, doesn't matter, I won't see as many of that Pokemon. I won't see as many Pikachu. But on the day, I shouldn't say, oh, well I saw a whole bunch of, um, I don't know, Minimum Plusle, which are two other electric type Pokemon that are a little more common than Pikachu maybe. That's an example, I'm not even going with the rarity levels of what it is. But the idea being, if you have a day revolving around a single Pokemon or even a couple, those should be the ones you see, and that is how it works in Pokemon Go. You'll see more of the ones that that's the day or that's the hour of, or any event that they have increased spawns of certain things, you will see more of that thing. Especially community days when you're looking for shinies and that kind of thing. You're going to see more of that Pokemon than anything else. You're gonna see them everywhere. Whereas this, I saw more of something that the day didn't revolve around. All right, that was a super long-winded, long story of just one little quality of life that Porky can change is to just, if you're gonna have foundables that a community day revolves around or even an event, we should see more of that than anything else. And that's my final word on that. So anyway, did enjoy it, but I would definitely argue that a casual player wouldn't be able to finish. Mainly, if you think about it right now, it's about 5.50 for me, and I started at two something. Uh, that was three, oh, three hours or more like that I dedicated specifically to only doing this, not walking around doing other things and doing this. All I did was play the game. All I did was play the game. Walk around, keep the game open, and play this game. And it took me about, whatever, a little over three hours to get it done. So if it's somebody that more plays the game as they're going through their normal day, I, it might be a lot harder for them to get those numbers of things. So it, is that good or bad? Not saying one way or the other. Should a community day be geared so that a casual player can finish it? Uh, I'm not sure. Porky, you guys I'm sure have the numbers and know whether that's a better audience for you and the game is sustainable that way and it's more the people like me that you want to be able to finish or not. Again, it was three defense against dark arts books, no restricted section books. So if someone's new and they're trying to, you know, get their combat tree going, it's not gonna really hold them back from that. The spell books, obviously, but there's better ways to get spell books than events like this. So not sure if a casual player would definitely be able to finish those tasks as they were laid out because of the difficulty of just returning that many foundables of specific types that you're not necessarily seeing unless you really are actively, like I did today, going and just going to an area and just playing. Well, that is gonna do it for today's video. Already I'm thinking about, oh my gosh, we got community today tomorrow and I, I don't have as much free time tomorrow, so I am a little concerned about if I'll be able to finish tomorrow's event. 
Um, really depending, I guess, on the foundables, how, how available are they? I'm hoping they are available enough. I don't have to worry about, I don't believe I'm too worried about the um, fortress fragments for tomorrow. It's definitely more the Weasley's Wizard and Weezes. Actually, the open skiving snack box, I take it back. I do need that. So I am going to have to worry about that. So before tomorrow, I'm actually going to open up these port keys. It's not a big deal. I'm just going to get those nine fragments toward the fountain. And then I still need the tanker brains anyway. But that page looking more and more like I'm going to get gold on it. Eventually, it's more approachable now because I don't need the veil or newt, which definitely don't see them as much. So as you can see, Saturday went how it went, and I had my thoughts upon that. So Sunday, going into Sunday, um, I didn't, I ended up not finishing Sunday Community Day. I ended up not participating a lot in it, and I had full intention to. Um, so Sunday, the way that broke down and kind of my thoughts about it, and I'll try to keep it short because this video I already know is going longer because of my long-winded thoughts about Saturday Community Day. So Sunday, I actually, um, again, full intention of completing it and went out, gave my, I was giving myself about um, three hours again just to, to have it done, but I did have some other things I needed to uh, accomplish on Sunday, completely unrelated to Harry Potter Wizards Unite, real world things I needed, needed to do, not just wanted to do. But anyway, I started playing um, at South Point in Durham again, because on Sundays I am down there, just because I have business I need to do on Sundays, usually down in the Durham area. So I went to South Point, figuring it'd probably be about the same, same foundable levels, you know, that kind of thing. And I did actually see a lot of foundables, but after I did my first Brufios and Tonic, and had actually filmed some footage the whole bit, after that, I just decided it wasn't going to happen, and it really came down to um, with Lee Jordan, Fred, and George. I was seeing them, but they were departing on me so much. They were departing. Three Lee Jordans in a row departed on me on the first cast with Extimulo Potions at that time. Um, I, I almost want to say it was the same Extimulo Potion because I saw one with an Extimulo, did a cast, he ran did another one, ran, did another one, ran. And then Fred's and George's, my rate of fleeing, my departure rate on not necessarily first cast, but just departure in general, was getting pretty high <laughs> to the point where I was catching less than half. Less than half of them were actually staying. And sometimes using Extimulo, sometimes not. And I shouldn't really have to use the Extimulos to at least be able to participate in this event. And then looking at the numbers I needed to get, I just, at that time, and I think it was probably more because Saturday had already been a long day and, and grinding. So I just wasn't as patient maybe as I normally would be on just any given day because of the previous day. So this day with the Freds and the Georges and the Lee Jordans, just they just kept departing on me. It, I would have even been fine if it's okay, it's gonna take me five casts or six casts, but it was the fact that they just kept departing, departing, departing. So at the end of my Brufios, which is 40 minutes and the tonics are 30, but at the end of the Brufios, I didn't even need the tonic either. It, I was seeing spawns regardless. So no problem with spawn levels, I suppose. It was those, that departure rate where they were just taking off on me. Um, I decided, I looking at how much time it was going to take me, it was going to take me more than the allotted time if my rate of returning them continued. So at that point I said, you know, I've, I have other things I need to do. I, I can't put the time into this if they're just gonna make these guys flee constantly. So it was a bit frustrating. Again, like I said, not my normal patient self, so I think that affected things. But um, unlike Saturday, where Saturday my main um, concern slash complaint slash gripe was that they weren't giving us enough of the things that were the day revolved around and we were getting other spawns. Sunday, it was a different issue and the issue was the things were there, but they just kept departing. They just kept fleeing. And I've, I've even done the SOS tree where I've, I've raised my departure denial and my mastery versus Wonders of the Wizarding World is pretty decent. I've actually put specific um, SOS notes into just mastery versus Wiz wonders of the wizarding world in addition to just overall mastery so when i thought about it i thought well lower level players somebody that doesn't have their so tree evolved they don't have as much mastery i'm like this must really be difficult for them to be able to return them and if it was somebody that wasn't like at a place like i was where there's just spawns everywhere if you were just off a tonic you're not even going to see that many and then that departure rate really would make that quite difficult so in the end uh for me at least it i decided you know i 
I don't have the time to do this. And it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun to continue to click on them, cast spells, sometimes even throw the potion down and actually have a good cast, get it in the green. You're feeling pretty good about it. You know, okay, I did the things I'm supposed to do from my end. And then the game just has it flee on you. And then you've got to find another one and another. And then you need so many of them comparatively. Because I will say other events, a lot of times the highest threat foundables, they ask you to get like five of them, like Tom Riddle or something like that. Um, or uh, I think Dumbledore in the past has done that. Where it was just five. It was always five on that emergency level. And then the severe level might be 10. And then here we're trying to get 15 and 20. So it was a bit much. 15 and 20. I, if I'm not correct, it's because my memory is failing me on that day. Because again, I only played it for about 40 minutes and just was kind of done with it. So since I have been back playing the game, because I did take a break for, gosh, six months or something like that. But since my videos have come back out and um, events have been happening, this is the first event I haven't finished in a while. I guess even more so, not just not finished, but not even just attempted, like I just gave up, which I know it's, that sounds so terrible, I gave up. It was the case where I just wasn't having fun doing it, so I made the decision not to not continue with the event. The rewards wouldn't even have mattered. Even if it was things that I absolutely could have used, I, it wouldn't have mattered anyway. And everybody can use Defense Against Dark Arts books because we need them for all sorts of SOS tree things. I haven't actually spent most of mine, but that's a different story altogether. Anyway, that was a look back at my Saturday and then uh, an explanation of Sunday, what, what was I doing? And that was what I was doing. And that's why you won't see any footage of that day. To try to keep this short, too late. Um, I'm, my thoughts on Community Day is that it really does need to be, it, it needs to be revamped entirely. I would actually like to see Community Days revolve less around the tasks. You can go ahead and have tasks have them easy that somebody could just finish in a heartbeat and it doesn't even have to be that great rewards. It really doesn't matter. It could be more for newer players. Go ahead and it could be scrolls and spell books. I'm fine with that. Um, again, this is, this is just me, how I think a community day might work better. But then make the community day more about the spawns, more about the spawns themselves. So just have an increased spawn rate of things that people might need. So then you yourself can dictate how serious you want to take it, how much you want to play. And you're not playing so much because you can't finish tasks that have been presented to you, but you decide to play longer because you want more of the thing. That way, somebody that doesn't necessarily need more of the thing or just doesn't want to have more of the thing, they're not feeling like they're missing out. And I would liken this again to a Pokemon Go community day. When, and I, I haven't played a ton recently, but I mean, I played a lot, a lot. I mean, I'm in level 40 multiple times over and have, you know, caught al almost all of them, including most of the regionals. I went to GoFest twice, um, but Pokemon Go Community Day, whenever I think back at what I was doing on Community Days, I honestly can't even tell you the tasks on those days or even remember. It mainly was just um, the tasks really came from Pokestops and you spun them and you got things. And sometimes they had tasks. But honestly, most of the day was revolving around going to get shinies. It was trying to get shinies on community days. And not only that, but it was if I was the type of player that didn't worry too much about that particular shiny, I could just go out and get one. I could go click on a bunch of them and there'd be a ton of that Pokemon. We talked about this. Um, there'd be a ton of that and I would just get the one shiny and if I was fine with that, I could end right then and I wasn't, I wasn't missing anything. The only thing I was missing was more shinies, which I already had decided wasn't important to me and it didn't affect gameplay. It was just something, oh, I want more shinies. Or I could be the type of player that's like, oh, I want a shiny, I can actually use in battle. So it needs to have better IVs. If you don't know what that means, just means a better version of the Pokemon that can fight better for the most simplistic explanation. So if I'm that type of person, I could grind all day and, and trying to go shiny, 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 trying to find a good one. In which case, again, it's kind of putting the community day in the player's hands and they decide how far they want to take it, how, how serious they want to take it, how much they want to play. 
And at any point when I feel like I'm done, I'm done. And I don't feel like the game has dictated how long I need to play. I dictated how long I wanted to play and what I wanted to get out of it. So, and again, this isn't for every event, but I would say for community day, I like that model better is that it's more about, hey, we're gonna present stuff. You can do what you want with it. You can take as much as you want out of that. Hopefully that made sense to you. But I would like to see us go in that direction for community days because it, it does, that makes the lower level players get more out of the event and not feel like they're missing out because they know they didn't finish a set of tasks. When you give a benchmark and you don't meet it, it makes people feel like they didn't do something correctly or finish it. But if you just give a low one and just have stuff available, then both a casual player can do it and then somebody a little more serious can do it. All right, this video has gone on way too long. I need to end it here. Those are my thoughts on Community Day. I have a lot more thoughts about not only Community Day and events in general, but uh, potions is another, that's another sticking point for me on just how they're implemented and how they're used. And I was somewhat excited about them. I am gonna put a video about that eventually whenever I have a day when I don't have to report on something else. Uh, for tomorrow's video, look out for a guide for this Halloween um, weekend. There's a whole thing going. And a heads up, I'll remind you in the Halloween video tomorrow but Halloween is actually a full moon which is Saturday October 31st which means a couple days before probably Thursday night um, Thursday night they'll probably be werewolves out so be on the lookout for werewolves starting on probably again Thursday night I'm in the United States going forward through Halloween and then a couple days after as well so if you need werewolves for sure and during the Halloween event I'll again go over this tomorrow the Halloween event actually will have werewolves so it's almost like they're gonna take away the nighttime um, requirements so you're gonna see a bunch anyway but just be aware werewolves are coming once again thank you guys for watching this video and listening to my ramblings I'll see you guys tomorrow Knox